4.1, number 6. Here we have a system of two linear equations, and we want to find the solution by graphing. So again, as in the other problems, we're first going to make a chart for each equation so we can graph it. So let's find three ordered pairs for the first equation, and we'll also find three ordered pairs for the second equation. And what I think I'll do this time, I'm going to find two ordered pairs. I'm going to put in x is 0, and then I'm going to put in y is 0. Same with this guy. And I'll go through, get my solution, and if my solution checks out, I'm all set, I'm done. If it doesn't check out, it means I probably graphed one of these wrong. And then I'll go back and find the third point. So it's a little bit of a shortcut. Don't do it on a test, but if you're doing a ton of homework problems, it's a nice little shortcut. If x is 0 in the first equation, that term goes away. And I'm left with minus y equals minus 3. Divide both sides by negative, I get y is 3. 0, 3 is our first point. If y is 0 on the first equation, that term goes away. I'm left with minus 3x equals minus 3. Divide both sides by negative 3. x equals 1. So there's our two points for the first one, so we're finding the intercepts here. Second equation, x is 0, that term's gone, I get y is 8. y is 0, that term's gone, I get 8x equals 8. Divide by 8, x equals 1. So you see why I'm just going with the intercepts? It's pretty fast. You really, you'll lose a term when you put in the intercept, and the resulting equation is really easy to solve. If we put in some other numbers, we're probably going to get fractions and stuff, which is okay, but, you know, why do them if you don't have to? So now we're going to graph our points on the same graph and find out where they intersect. So we want to go between minus 10 and 10 because one of our points we have to graph it has an 8 in it. So let's just make sure that we go 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, it looks like everything fits if we make each square equal to 1. And if it didn't fit, I would just decide that each square was equal to 2 instead. We can make the squares equal whatever we want. So for the first equation, the first point, or ordered pair, is 0, 3. 0 for x, 3 for y. The next point was 1, 0. And for the second equation, the first point was 0, 8. Well, let's go ahead and get our graph first. Otherwise, I'm going to forget what point goes with what equation. So these points go together. And I'll make a nice long line so I've got plenty of room to see where the intersection happens. Arrows at both ends. Okay, now the other equation, 0, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 1, 0. Oh, well that's convenient. I didn't even notice that, but we already have the intersection point right there. Because that point lies on both lines. So then we go through the center of both points, draw the line, arrows at both ends. Intersection is the solution. And that's at 1, 0. And all that remains is to do the check. So we want to find out if we put 1, 0 for x and y, into both equations, we get true statements. So in the first equation, minus 3 times 1 would be minus 3. Take away 0, does it equal minus 3? Yes. Next equation, 8 times 1 is 8. Plus 0, does it equal 8? Yes. There we go. And if they hadn't, if it hadn't worked out and checked out right, I would have assumed one of my lines was wrong. I would have gone back and found an extra point to try to figure out which line was wrong.